So Nonine doesn't like bananas. And no, yeah. I tried to no. mash uh -oh, a little bit. Okay, shh. I tried to mash a little bit into her Weedabix. I was thinking if, if I could get her to have a little bit in her Weedabix, it might, she might get used to the taste. Um, but no, she kept trying her Weedabix and she kept spitting it out. And then she wanted a Dio's toast, so I'd make her toast. So I probably just put her off Weedabix rather than got her to eat bananas. <laughs> and Eddie would eat like three or four bananas a day. Like he loves them. Do you like bananas? My drink. That's your drink, yeah. It's a big Oreo toast on my table. Yeah. What are we going to do today? Shop. Shops? Yeah. Me bananas. We do. Me bread. Me a bit of the bread toast. And my big what? Orange. Oranges, yeah. And grain. And... Daddy car. Go to grab my... Me, my bucky, my big, big table. Milk. What? Um, Do we need milk? We do need carrots, uh -oh. yeah. Look, hunting broccoli. Broccoli. Look, hunting. And maybe we'll go to the uh, uh, zoo. Zoo. Yeah, zoo. No, we don't go to the zoo. The uh, bouncing castle. The bouncing castle. Mm -hmm. One more, that's it? Yeah. You want to give her one? Hmm. This one? Ah, good boy. Here, I'll give it to her. Okay. Here we go. That's very kind. Thank you, Adio. You want more toes in the big plate? Okay, eat that one first. Okay. No need to say ta-ta. Ta-ta. Ta -ta. Oh. Wait, down there. Did you? No need. Did you? Yeah. Yay. Oh, well done. Going? To Bouncy Castle. <laughs> Bouncing Castles. Yeah. Bouncing Castle. Yay. Bouncing Castle. Yeah. It's getting harder and harder to get them out of the house. Like, it was hard when, you know, I had a toddler and a newborn. And then it got easier again, and I don't know what's happening now, but I started getting, well, now, I wash my hair and that, and dry my hair, and that takes forever. But I started getting us ready at 8 o'clock, and it's 10 to 10 now. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, or where. Maybe because they're getting older and I can't control them as much. It gets, it's, I don't know. I don't know, but it's getting harder to get out of the house. Didn't that take ages? Oh, it didn't, no? It's Let's go. What? Will we go? Yeah. I feel like super parent at the minute. <laughs> we just went to Ikea to get some stuff now. I hate going to Ikea. I have anxiety when I walk around it. I feel like I'm trapped in there. And I thought this morning I needed some stuff. We need some stuff from Ikea. I'm gonna, I've, I've been thinking for weeks and I'm gonna go. I'm gonna brave it with the two kids after we go to the uh, soft play. Thinking that they might sleep in the car and then be okay when we got there. Well, Elio didn't sleep in the car, and only did. And I went and she, when I lifted her into the pram, she stayed asleep. And then Elio went to sleep as I walked around Ikea. I got everything on my list. 
and they were so so good weren't you Eddie Oak has just woken up we had I uh, came out so stress free came out put everything in the boot went back in and me and Nonine had lunch because Nonine woke up then I brought them in to change them and Eddie Oak woke up and he did get a bit teary because he woke up in the changing room and he didn't know where he was but it just took him a minute to wake up and now he's happy again a little bit tired a little bit like still where am I that was the most enjoyable Ikea experience I've ever had and it was with two toddlers amazing <laughs> amazing and isn't there a storm outside now yeah. yeah oh we just got in the car on time didn't we yeah. And now eddie has got a little pear juice and Nonine had some of hers and we're going to go home. I do need to go to Aldi for supplies. I don't need to. Oh, did you see the lightning? What? <gasps> there was lightning over there. Did you see it? Uh -oh. It's a storm. Yeah. <laughs> um... I do need to go to Aldi for supplies, like really need to go. But I don't know, am I totally pushing my luck? We'll see. We're back, we went to Aldi. It was another success. Apart from Nonine had my bank card in her hand when we went in and I kind of forgot that she was holding it and until I got to the checkout and then realized that sugar, where is it? <laughs> She had dropped it in one of the outs and thankfully it was still there. It's so as, I had planned on in this but As a reward for Eddie Oak because he's been so good. <laughs> We've got a big mat. A big mat. And you know, it's like the cars can drive on it. Oh, this is a bit confusing. <laughs> <laughs> is it so exciting? talking to the camera for ages <laughs> and it wasn't on. Eddie Oak, are we going to do, what are we going to do to your room? It's a little king. We're going to make it a big boy room. Big boy room. Okay. Yeah, we're going to change the bed. We're going to put a big boy blanket on it. And we're going to take the side off so you can get in and out yourself. Um, because I was just saying to the camera that wasn't recording, um, he is getting out of bed at night time and coming 
Or, he's not. He's crying at like four or five in the morning. And coming, we're in class. Coming into our room. We're in class. You know, and he's, I don't know, oh, they're downstairs. And he's not loving going to bed in his bed at the minute. And I think he's just, we need to reignite a little bit of love for his room, so. So yeah, I got a guardrail for his bed. It's got chained into a toddler bed. The sheets that I just washed and dried, and new pillow, a new blanket because it's all baby blanket and baby stuff. And he actually does need like a. That's a probably doesn't technically need a pillow, but he likes a pillow, and he only has a little small ones. So 